and, and claim some spots, get some innings and feel confident about it. Drew McDaniels, a young man that coming into the season certainly was in that role as a weekend guy. Keck is on the move, a pitch out. The throw by Harris is going to go out into center field. McCants will pick it up and uh, bring the ball back in. It's almost guessed right. The throw, though, just bounced out. Stouts choking up on the bat, takes a swing and a miss, and one up and away. Oh, and certainly mixing up pitches, and that wasn't on the plate call. Nope. Oh. Ground ball up the middle. It's a base hit, and Simo will take the lead here in the second. Second hit of the inning. Keck will stand on first. RBI number eight. Stop it at one run. Uh, he'll walk the bases full. Ground ball to Gonzalez. Could be two. Flip to second. Burford steps there. The throw will go away from Elko. One run scores. Two will score. And going down to second is going to be Sperling. A check of the runner at second, and the 3-1 bounces in. Harris kicks it up the first base line, but another base runner for Simo. The 2-2 is a swing and a miss, and Nichols comes in and does his job and gets Ole Miss. Does not know how fortunate he was right there, does he? Home point umpire? Well, McCants is going to be clipped by this pitch, and the first two are aboard. And he gets Leatherwood to pop up. Could be playable for Leeper. It is... And after the double play, Leeper makes this catch. And, after and this one is hit into left. Graham going back is at the wall, and that is gone. Home run number 14 for Tyler Wilbur. His 49th run batted in, and that's 60 for this Warhawk team. And it looks like another breaking ball. I'm not, I'm maybe up a little bit, but it's just a good swing by Wilbur. Kept the hands back. And then this one hit hard off of bench. Justin picks it up, throws across, and makes the play. Had you play it into a hit? Because he certainly could have. Bounced past Burford and out into center field. One out, single. Here's another one. Line drive into left. Graham will come up and catch. So back-to-back -back one out base hits. And a base hit into right. Leatherwood will pick it up, run around third, and will score, and it's a 5-0 lead. When he had bounced into what? See the graphic, the bases are loaded. Fly ball, center field. McCants at the track, makes the catch at the wall. Harris will try and lead things off, and he sends a base hit, the first one of the night for Ole Miss, out in the right field. He'll send one into the right center field gap. That is going to be down. Cut off over there by Parker. And so the first two are aboard. Two in, lost two in a row last week. Laced, caught by the first baseman, and everybody will go back. Andrews makes the play. Went brings it. This is bounced to third. Leeper throws to second for one, to first. Safe. Elko gets there just in time. And it's a bouncer to the second baseman, Sperling. He'll flip to second. And yeah, high expectations and certainly still an opportunity there for them to finish the season where they were predicted to finish. Graber first pitch swinging and a fly out. The home run off Nichols and hits a base hit up the middle on Maddox. He's a good hit on the mound. And he sends it down the line, fair ball. That'll roll to the wall. Graham will pick it up as it sticks there. They're going to round and try and score as the throw comes in, and Wilbur will score from first base. Low and a one-hopper to Burford. He'll throw across, and a couple of ground balls to Sullivan walked and sends one down the line. That's a fair ball. Mason's going to go over as Alderman rounds. The throw's going to come to second. Kemp will slide in with a leadoff double. Went up, swing and a miss. Played three hits in the game. Good pitch, taking call, strike three. Back-to-back -back strike. Here it comes. And he sends a base hit into left. 
They'll round Alderman at third. Ole Miss gets the two-out hit from Leatherwood, and the Rebels get a run on the board. Harris with a bouncer of the shortstop. Wilbur, he'll field it, go to the bag himself. Ole Miss will get, and the 2-0 here is going to be grounded for a base hit out in the right. He'll move up base. He does square, and the pitch is going to go all the way back to the wall. And so no need for the bunt. Move to second and third with nobody out up for Ole Miss. The 3-2, walk it, base is loaded. All to end the third. And he sends one out to McCants again on the line. He makes the catch. That'll be a sacrifice fly. Runner trying to go to third. The relay and the throw is not in time there. As the 0-2 is a swing and a miss and a big strikeout. And at 87 miles per hour on the fastball, a little tick hits as well. And there's another one in the gap. Wilbur will make this an 8-1 game as McCants cuts it off. They're going to round the runner at third. Gonzalez's throw is going to be up the line and sliding in safely and scoring from first to Sperling. And that's three straight hits for Wilbur, a double to drive in two. Right there. Four and one with a couple of saves. And this one is sent back up the middle and a base hit off of it. Bounce to the mound. Throw to second for one. And turning the double play as Gonzalez bounces into the old 1-6 to 3. Go at the plate now with nobody on, and he'll bounce to the shortstop, Wilbur. And that will do it. It's an eight-run difference here in the sixth. And a walk to lead off the sixth inning. Off until now, so he'll get a chance to swing it. And instead gets hit by the pitch. 1-2 swung at one in the dirt, blocked up by Harris to get the out. Liberal set brings the one two. And that's grounded hard. Burford bobbles it, throw nowhere. And the error will load the bases. There's an only a sacrifice fly to show for it. Sends another fly ball to center field. McCants going back. That one's at the wall, and McCants is going to catch it on the track. Runners all tag in advance, but that is the third time tonight. We're trying to get that 25th. Uh, swing and a miss, and Kimbrell will leave a couple of guys aboard. Over in the hole, and a uh, swing and a miss. Let's play a little better defense. The game would have even been closer. And he lobs it the opposite way and finds a base hit in front of Mason. Ground ball. That's down in the right field. There was a base hit. His second of the year, and McCants will go first to third. With the plate. The 0-2 got him. Pull the string on it first with nobody out. The 3-1. That will miss, and the walk problem continues for Wes Burton. And this is sent to center field. McCants took a step back, now comes in, gets the fly ball out. 3-1. Walked him. And the bases will be loaded. Bounces this one over the mound. That's going to get a run as Gonzalez throws across and gets him. So he does produce his third run bat at the end of the night. Still somebody slow walking down there to get it. Here's one that's hit to left center and deep. And uh, Malone comes off the bench and hits a solo shot out in the right center. Over the weekend, bounces one that's going to be knocked down by the shortstop Wilbur, but a Anfield base hit for Van Cleef. On the move, there they go, and the pitch is sent on a line out into right, and coming in and making the catch is going to be Vesky. 1-2 bounced right side. Wood's going to dive, knock it down, gets up, throws, but no chance to get. And he'll take one off the hip. Logan's 2-2, bounced right side. Taiwan Malone will catch it, flip to the pitcher covering, and get the out. To your point, the big fella showed. And there's another base hit. Goes the opposite way. They'll hold the runner at third. So Wilbur will. Bounces past the catcher. And the runner's going to score to make this a 13-2 game. And has a solo home run to his credit. He's got two of them He's now. got another one. That one is <laughs> way, way back over the bullpen. <laughs> I, I wasn't calling that ahead of time. I'm looking down at the stat sheet, 
And my goodness, did 17 put a charge in that one. And two of those have come on pinch hit solo home runs. Gonzalez sends it out to left. Coming in is Mason. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Got him on a call strike three to end this one. Solo home run finishes the scoring. And so for my buddy Keith Kessinger, I'm Gary Darby. We'll say so long from Oxford. Once again, the final score, SEMO 13 and Ole Miss 3.